Thanks, guys. Oh, wow. All right, just start talking like you are talking. So we're about. in it. We're doing it. This yeah. is it. The flush. Three, six, eight. And talk about digital over real. It doesn't get more real yeah. than this. There's something to be said about the collective energy that's up there, tapping into the very specific energy that it is that we want to cultivate on the West Coast is exactly why we're here. You guys have to like edit a promo together? Uh, oh no, not together. Uh, I don't know where this water trail is, but it's been raining for what, a week? How much time do we have? Five minutes. Um, not super important. The fact that we were able to pull this off in some ways might seem like it, it was easy. Spoke with Genki this morning. It was really enlightening as to where we want to take this video. Who is Genki? So we go into his backstory. We go into his uh, B-roll. We let him describe who he is. The shots that we do choose, they should be, you know, organic. Organic, but also interesting. Genki just sent us his footage. It's uploading right now to Google Drive. You're seeing that we just get only coverage with our camera from We this get angle. this angle and then this angle. To cut to from there. there. Well, we said we were going to cheat that. But it was really easy with the train. Like, I'm already impressed with the subway. That one little idea like, sparked so many people. It's just like... I have a couple of podcasts lined up oh, uh, nice. tomorrow. These little tiny things that, oh, like, little cool. foreshadowings that she doesn't realize, but the viewer realizes. Don't kill yourselves, guys. I like to see you guys post more than be perfectionist, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Here at LAX, security was a breeze. Still haven't had coffee, though. <sighs> Much better. We arrived in Denver. We didn't realize how short our layover was or how long I spent in the bathroom. We almost just missed our flight to New York. That would have been terrible. It uh, departs in 15 minutes. We were thinking about taking an Uber to our hotel that's on Broadway, but decided we want the full New York experience. It's 11.45 p.m. Full travel day. We're on probably two hours of sleep. Tomorrow's 368. We have a long night ahead. Well, Today is the day. What is this video that we're making? It's a video about an idea. <laughs> 7.14 a.m. Got about 46 minutes before we go stand outside in the freezing cold with Genki. I have to finalize these questions. Definitely a living belly. Woo! I feel like I could have stopped talking after. No, That's you're a lot of work. So I've cut it. What's it like actually putting together a conference? It's, it's a lot of work. Yeah. Nathan! How do you feel? <laughs> Where is she? Is that her over there? This is insane. See, the beauty of YouTube is it gets you out of the house. We're on no sleep. All we want is a nap, but instead, we're in the windiest, coldest place in the city. Alex, you picked the coldest place I know. in all of New York. I know. That's <laughs> face. Oh. It is beautiful, though. Is that the 16? Oh, you don't, you don't know how many did be wrong with your camera. Ken. That's it. You got it. All the time? Nope. Okay. That's it. How many time lapses can you get of you working oh, on your yeah. like that's... Hey, that guy, I know that guy. Quiet. Hey! What's going on, what's going on, man? We're like, Jay. I think it's easier to look at it if it's from a macro. Taking it back, for example, we're all in New York because we're all decided to go to this spot. 368. Off-roading, like behind a target or something. And Joe, that creative brings that creativity inside me. Well, look who we found. You can't really tell. can't tell who it is. <laughs> we can't either. We just found someone. What if Casey is just like, like, hey guys. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. 
Hey. Oh, hey. Hey. Fingers and toes were about to fall off. I thought you were from Chicago. From. <laughs> This is it, it's finally official. Entering 368. What's up, first day's chat? Hey, you guys made it? Uh, hey. We're right here. First in line. Uh, I almost dropped my $1,000 phone. <laughs> He's speaking at 368. That's when, crazy. Wait, when? Who? Oh, dude. New York, New York's been awesome. I'm trying to do all and every single person on my podcast as possible, so do that and like edit video. I'm trying to do like the method box technique where you just like, you film all the things and you make the videos. It's great! Oh, hi. That was a really intense opener. Audrey took time off school. She missed her first day of school. I want a business related. She's on a business related. Wow. Oh. You're out of focus! Wow. Oh wait, I can see, oh there it is. Oh. <laughs> this is it. We're in the basement of 368 right now. We have our friends here, which we're super inspired by, but we're also super inspired by the space. I mean, this is it, this yeah. is what we would want. The whole time that talks were going on, all I was thinking about was, this is this is what it, exactly what our space is gonna be like. Always be creative, every single day. Create something awesome today, every single day without fail. Why Yankee did this thing is, he was inspired by the community, but it was that feeling of the community, which is what we're all kind of tapping into because there's something so surreal about being able to be around other people that are doing what you're doing, that understand you. There's, there's like this relatability factor. So it's cultivating that specific energy that a space like this, I think, does. Seeing everybody get so excited to come to New York for this one night, it just shows how powerful a space like this can be. Well, I mean, what you don't see, there's gaming computers, there's a podcast studio. You've seen it in Casey's vlog, what down here looks like. A lot of the inspiration for the space has come from this space and being able to be in here. This trip has reinforced the idea of this creative space and now there's no doubt in my mind that this is what has to happen. Do it. Um, she's gonna cut my arm off and donate it to charity. 4368. 4368. <laughs> Just lending a helping hand. Bobby! Harvest, we're on, we're on your side of town. I hope we can do a hello, guys. We'll do something better, probably. Yeah. It's really cold out here, but John has <laughs> his hands out of his pants. It's all about capturing and, and the and moment. Yeah. Here. You gotta capture the moment. Otherwise, it wouldn't be worth it. This is it. I guess this would be it. This is where you say goodbye. This guy's headed to a train. Brick's gonna come live with us for a week. Yeah, in March. Yeah, yeah. yeah. March is right around the corner. It so. is right around the corner. We never get much time together. Like last time, it was like. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's day two. It's yeah. a lot more doable. The weather went from six degrees yesterday. It's now 25 degrees. So. <laughs> Everybody. Guys, everybody's just You've so gotten to meet so many new friends. Everybody's in that slow mode. <laughs> it's been super eventful. But now we're ready to get back to LA and discuss what the future is for our creative space. It's Tuesday, 4 p.m., the day after 368. We're currently headed to Starbucks to meet up with Romina and get some editing done. Because we need to get this video out pronto. Let's do it. So we just came back from a really solid editing sesh at a Starbucks. I think what was really cool about it was being able to edit with a bunch of other like-minded people. Totally felt like a creative space. Yeah, I think uh, Genki brought it up at one point. As soon as he walked in, I was like, bro, look, it's a bunch of us editing. He's like, it's your creative space, right? And I looked at Jonathan and I'm like, yup. <laughs> hey Genki, what's this video that we're doing about you? What's it about? It's about an idea. Did I get it right? I think so. Hey Romina, so like how many subs do you have? <laughs> 20K! Woo! Bro, how does it feel? Um, it feels great. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna take it all the way up till we say goodbye to Burke, right? Uh, I have up to the clip. 133. This is our last yeah. day in New York. If there's one thing this trip has done for us is 100% validate our desire to build our version of 368 out on the West Coast. That's exactly what this trip has done for me too. I guess the question is, where do we go from here? Someone at the Sandra Bullock. <laughs>
we're thinking at this point, we definitely need to get other people on board with this idea. We need to see who wants in on this in the early stages. We have to go back to LA and put together a list of people that we think can be on board with this idea. We're gonna need a lot of help in the beginning. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and let us know in the comments. Jonathan and I like to talk about branding in an entertaining way, so if you wanna follow along on our journey, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys next week.